we've placed weights inside of each of these boxes. We asked our volunteers without peeking to tell us which is heavier. That, that one seemed heavier. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, this is lighter. Yeah, this one feels a little bit heavier, which I thought it would be lighter, but it's not, I think. <laughs> hmm. Let me do it. Huh, OK. So when you had just looked at the boxes, when you just looked at the size, which one did you think would be heavier? Um, I guess this one, because it was just so big, so. It's bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Initially, you're going to think bigger means heavier. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, too. Turns out this game requires more than just your sense of sight and touch. Your brain also relies on motor learning, a kind of muscle memory super sense to gauge the weight of the boxes. So which box is really heavier? Bring that one over here and then read the reading from the scale in pounds. Okay. 14 pounds. 14 pounds. Yeah. All right. So now we know the lighter box is 14 yeah. pounds. Let's bring in the heavier box. Heavier box. All right. 14 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What does it say? 14 pounds. 14, 14 pounds. Yeah. It's the same exact thing. But we. Wait, really? Yeah. How does that even work, though? Like, why? Well, when you first pick up the box, you have this expectation that the larger one will be heavier. And so you apply more force than you need, and that makes it wind up feeling lighter in a way. But you lifted it multiple times, and you moved it around, and you really developed an internal model of what the weight was. In other words, your motor sensing system figured it out. It knows that it requires the same force to lift each Hold box. On. But the cognitive perceptual part of your brain refuses yeah. to accept that conclusion. So it still thinks that the smaller box is heavier. What does that tell you about your brain? It has lied to me. I do not trust anything <laughs> anymore, ever. We live in the matrix. Oh, god, no. 